I think our outfit today probably does a pretty decent job of explaining what we are here to do today, but we're out here on Hemeldal in the Hunter Classic, as always on Christmas Day, going for a Rudolph hunt, and I hope you guys are having a fantastic Christmas and a happy holiday. If you don't celebrate Christmas, I still hope you're having a good weekend, but we are out here to not only hunt for Rudolph reindeer, but also I guess to kind of look for some trophy reindeer, as evidently the shovel glitch was fixed. That was causing the reindeer sometimes to score a lot lower than they should have. The other side of it is there are holiday missions running right now, and they have pretty decent rewards, so we're going to kind of somewhat work towards doing that. And hopefully by the end of this, we can make some progress on that as well. Well, that is rather unfortunate for a bull reindeer that we spent so much time trying to catch up to. He's not exactly huge, and he's not exactly offering a shot, but I can hear those females behind us. We had to get that shot off quickly, and at least with a red tracer arrow, it kind of has a little bit of a Rudolph resemblance, but... Quite honestly, I am glad that one does not have a red nose. I would like to see a little more antler on one like that. A 112 weight and a 236 score. A lot of female reindeer will score better than that one, but that was, as you can see, quite the track. We're almost 4,000 meters into this hunt, and that was our first male reindeer, so hopefully only upwards from there. I see on that guy... A little red nose, and this was something that I was going to mention. It often happens where you almost get into, like, pockets of reindeer. Where, I mean, we spent 4,000 meters finding one, and since then we traveled another 600. And we've got our first Rudolph the Hunt just kind of feeding out here in front of us, which is kind of cool. I'm not sure I've ever gotten to see that with them. I mean, reindeer certainly, but it is, in my opinion, a requirement to shoot the Rudolph Reindeer with the Christmas A557 rifle, so kind of cool to actually have a Rudolph feeding in front of us. And I think this will be somewhere kind of towards the upper end of the Rudolphs that we shot in the past, and potentially the shovel glitch that I mentioned at the beginning will help us. That was... I wonder if we can get that in the trophy shot. That's kind of cool how the light is coming through the ground there. Nice 150 kg 402, and a heart shot to go along with that, so we'll definitely go into... Uh, trophy shot. I've not gotten to use the new uh, harvest screen, so I think we tax first and then go into trophy shot mode. That looks to be the case. I can't seem to capture that lighting effect, but another thing I don't know that we've ever done is gotten the trophy shot of a Rudolph reindeer with the snow actually falling. That's pretty neat. So one to definitely keep in the gallery. And nice to actually get a good size Rudolph right off the bat. If I remember correctly, last year we shot a good number of them, but it was all like kind of 200 and 300 scoring ones, so to top 400 is definitely nice, and we'll still continue to look for a better one to add to the kind of event animal slot. But anything over 400 for a Rudolph, I'm definitely happy with, and to get that out of the way early is good, plus that actually checks off the Harvest a Rudolph portion of the holiday mission. And speaking of the mission, I would say that brown bear will suffice to uh, check off the Harvest A 23 plus scoring brown bear objective there. And I've got to say, it could be the lighting. Uh, kind of like a Christmas Eve aspect of Hemeldal during the holiday event, they keep it at 6 p.m. And that does kind of make it a little bit dark, but that bear does seem dark ish looking to me. And I know the silver tips just have like a slightly darker color than the commons, so. I guess we'll kind of hold our breath for that. We need to keep that shot kind of forward to have any hope of getting a lung. And we may, just for a good measure, if we can get a second shot off, try to hit him again. Or is he down already? I think he is. Not bad, honestly. I mean, like I said, it's tough, and that shot does not look nearly as far forward as I wanted it, but the lung hitbox on the brown bear is not that great. And by the way, definitely not a silver tip there. But we did get a lung. It's a very narrow area to hit, and I'm pretty glad that we got that, because that could turn into a much longer track, but 24.4 will do. Definitely not a monster bear by any means, but enough to check that part off. That is rather unfortunate for a reindeer that had a 125 to 160 kg track to only max at 135 kg and have a max score of 290. 
is a little bit rough, but if there is a silver lining, of the three reindeer bulls we've seen, the only Rudolph was far and away the biggest one, and I do have to think because the track that I was on was fleeing, that should pretty well confirm because that guy was spooked that it was the same track, and this will give us absolute confirmation, and the weight has now changed to that 110 to 135 mark, so rather uh, unfortunate, like I said, to end up having that from that track, but at least it isn't one of those ending up being the Rudolph. The one that we actually shot on the EW stream when we joined them uh, about a week ago was roughly this size. So we got to do a little bit better with that 400 scoring one already today. And uh, minus that, our second, I'm going to say 200's reindeer to 85 that time, better than the first one, I guess. Well, that is one of the better looking moose we've seen thus far today. 165 to 185 and a max weight estimate. Probably should have looked at the moose competitions. I know the mission requirement is for a moose with a shotgun. And unfortunately, we can only carry so many different weapons, so no shotgun to complete that objective at the moment. But at least hopefully we can bring that one down and get him. I think that'd be a nice one, and I'm kind of considering fast traveling back to the Northern Lodge. Now, we need an Unspooked Lynx as well, although I'm kind of considering doing that in single player. I've got a couple of spots where usually through fast travel they'll end up calling, and that might be a little bit easier than sort of just roaming around and hoping for the best. Definitely not a bad deal. Lungs once again, and the 8x57 today, despite the maybe rather harmless look, has done really, really well on both the reindeer and, of course, the brown bear. And now the moose as well with that lung shot at a kind of less than ideal angle. But a left lung shot at 171 meters gets us a 182 scoring moose with a 12 second wound time, by the way, just perfect to kind of cap that off. So we're going to head over to the northern lodge then. This lake right in here tends to be pretty good, especially later in hunts. So we'll see if any reindeer have kind of ended up in that area. There does appear to be a lone female reindeer up here. I'm not sure if it's maybe one from one of the bulls we shot earlier or one that just happens to be passing through. I guess it still somewhat makes the point that reindeer like this area, but I was hoping to see and still hope to see a herd with a bull in it or just a bull generally in the area. But... It's an opportunity to use that last arrow in our pulser and go ahead and kind of reload the quiver. I would say, by the way, considering the fact that there are no other females around, it must have just been a random female off by itself. 307 score, though. I believe that makes it our second best reindeer, despite the fact that we shot three bulls today. That part is rather unfortunate again. The one positive note to that is the Rudolph was the biggest for the entire hunt. And go figure, there was a bull around, although not the most special one. It will definitely actually even have a chance of being our best one, 80 to 110 kg. If I would have picked up that track, I would have undoubtedly expected it to be basically the size of our other two bull reindeer today. and. For attacks to be a decent one, I think that does make the point. And it's a thing that we talk about often in Classic. You just never know when it comes to the weights, and in a lot of ways, it can be worth tracking every male track that you get. We see it a lot with Whitetail. A lot of our highest scoring ones are not in that max weight range. And Reindeer, although they tend to be a little more consistent with the heavyweights being higher scores, I think especially with him not really missing anything, not the best tops, but some good width. I wouldn't be shocked if this is our best one of the hunt, despite the fact that he's under 100 kg. He is a 478. Not too bad, and I do wonder. We're not going to actually take a trophy shot here, but could it be that a reindeer like this in the past wouldn't have scored as high due to the shuffle glitch? Because I've noticed that with a couple of them, it seems to be where, like, I would have expected them to be a lot lower from past experience. And now they're actually scoring a little bit higher, so good to see, and like I mentioned all the way back at the beginning, the fix of that glitch, I think makes it a lot more likely that we'll have the opportunity to 
get more 600 plus reindeer in the future but we are actually gonna head back to the trophy lodge and take a look at our little event lodge with the new uh, Rudolph edition I just think it's cool to check up on the progress of the event animals lodges every time one of these events passes and I mean we've got all the way back to 2017 with the 465 which is our biggest Rudolph ever then we had 2018 there was no Rudolph event in 2019 so it skips to 2020 and then our newest edition here and only our second Rudolph ever over 400 at 402 from 2021 and I just like the variety on them like the werewolves are cool but obviously they just kind of end up looking the same minus maybe a little bit of a different fur type but it's cool to see and I'm looking forward to continuing to add to this lodge with the future events but as always I like to keep these videos fairly short it is a holiday so it's best to spend time with families and stuff like that so I wanted to wish you guys a Merry Christmas from myself and Kyla as always thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time